And the experts will tell you to save enough money to cover expenses for three to nine months. But reality is that about two thirds of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. New Nation reporter Paul Gerke shares how Americans are saving less today. It kind of hurts. Jennifer LaMonica is one of millions of Americans dipping into their rainy day funds as clouds of a potential recession hang overhead. The Bureau of Economic Analysis defines the personal savings rate as the percentage of disposable income that we can put away after taxes and expenses. The pandemic and three rounds of stimulus checks padded pocketbooks at first. The personal savings rate hit a record high of 34 percent in April of 2020. But this April, it was at its lowest since the 2008 recession, 5.2 percent. Once the world reopened, I was so inclined to do things that I had that money saved and I was like, cool, great. I have this so much money and now I want to hang out with my friends. I want to go to happy hour. I want to go to brunch. I want to go those places. From COVID's onset to the end of 2021, U.S. households built up $2.7 trillion in extra savings, according to Moody's analytics. But since the war in Ukraine began, savings have been in steep decline as inflation drives up the cost of gas, groceries and almost everything else. Moody's says families have tapped into about 114 billion so far, only about 4% of what we had squirreled away, but enough to make us leery. Last month, 52% of those surveyed in an exclusive News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll said they were worse off financially than they were a year ago. In May, 59% reported it was very difficult or somewhat difficult to make ends meet. In a historically competitive job market, some major employers are combating inflation with mid-year raises and bonuses, including ExxonMobil, T. Rowe Price Group, and Microsoft. Jennifer isn't expecting such a courtesy. <laughs> mid-year raise, that's a cute one. I am not getting a mid-year raise.